going to serve uh, as a step-by-step A to Z from beginning to end, uh, getting your own independent website with us, okay? And for some people, they're not going to be members that see this video. They're simply um, buying web hosting from us. And so this video will serve as an instructional video to them. Uh, but for members, uh, this will help you um, set up your own independent site away from just having a network site. And I will get into the distinction there, why you would want that, the pros, the cons, and, and all of that as well. Because um, for those who are not members at TW3, let me explain that every time someone joins uh, as a member at TW3, whether they're a sales rep and trainer, plus rep and trainer, or elite rep and trainer, everyone gets a website on the network site, which is the terrywilson3.net site. Uh, the pros to that is it comes with your membership. Um, you get to leverage some already built-in SEO that that network has built over the years uh, so that you've, you've got a little bit of jump on traffic and things of that nature. The downside to it is you are what's called a subsite on a network site. Okay. You're a subsite. So you're not an independent site, which means that there are limitations to being on a network site. For instance, um, you can't just say, Hey, I used to use this plugin over here and I really like it. It's a WordPress plugin that I'm familiar with. And I want to bring it over here. Well, you, if you're on the network site, you can't do that because you're locked in to only what the network offers. Um, also, you can't forward with masking. Uh, so there's some branding limitations, which means that I could say, hey, my name is Bob Smith, and I want you to go to bobsmith.com. When they type in bobsmith.com, it will go over to your website, terrywilson3.net. But if you turn masking on where they only see Bob Smith, then uh, it shows as number one, a non-secure connection. So Google, Chrome, and all the other browsers will flag it. Hey, this is an unsafe connection. Do you want to continue? So you'll lose tons of traffic. And number two, if you have masking on certain plugins that have um, – software that's written in flash and other things like WP forms and some of the elementor, uh, plugins, some of the components won't work. What does that mean to you? For instance, you might be sending someone and you've got an opt-in page right there on your site and they don't even see the form. It just don't even show up. That's because when you have forwarding with masking on, sometimes that will happen. And so for those reasons, uh, it's advantageous, I think, for everyone to have their own independent site at some point. However, we're wanting it to be as affordable and as ec economical and easy to get started as possible. So that's why we provide that uh, WordPress site on our network site for everyone who joins. Okay, so those are the two distinctions for those who are coming in late. If you get your own independent site you have autonomy to where you it's branded. You can have as many emails as you want uh, connected to that site. You can download all the various plugins that you want. You're not constrained to just the plugins that are on the network site uh, and all of that. Uh, so that's the advantages of that. To be on the network site, you do have the SEO component to it that uh, it was already started 14 years prior. So you get to, to sort of wi ride that wave a little bit but there's a lot of restraints to it, okay? So let's go from uh, point A to point Z uh, in the process. So let me uh, open up my browser here and we'll start here and then just go through it. Uh, and I know you can't see my screen yet, so give me just a second to uh, pull this up and then I'll hit share screen. And I'm actually just gonna share my desktop so, well, no, I'll share my screen and I can do that later. Okay. So it starts from here. So the first thing you got to do is you have to purchase your domain name. And so you'll purchase that. And here's the deal I would tell all of you, uh, get the, just the economy. Don't, you don't have to go out and spend, you know, the 20 and we've got actual, 
uh, web hosting and that goes up to $300 a month. Don't buy all that un unless you just know that you're a TV channel and you've got video that you're going to be streaming and you got to have that much CPU and bandwidth and all that start here. And the reason I say that is I'm not trying to, to downgrade you all on the front end. I'm just saying you'd be surprised how much memory and CPU bandwidth you have just at this level. And then as you have more traffic coming, as you're posting podcasts that are hosted on your server or some videos and the bandwidth increases, you can always upgrade. It's just a matter because what will happen is the server will send you an alert and you'll start seeing it in your your um, your your analytics that hey your upload speed and people's uh, speed of getting on your site is slowing down because of all of the memory and that's when it's gonna they'll be queuing you in the back you need to upgrade so until you have that problem don't pay for a problem you don't have so I always recommend start off with the economy so that's going to get you your uh, web hosting step two uh, let's go here look for an email that comes from sure support it will come within an hour to two hours after buying your domain and it's going to look just like this it's going to give you your domain name it's going to give you your ssl certificate it's going to give you everything you need okay the thing you're looking for is your control panel login okay right here you see where it says control panel there are three things that you need to keep in your mind. Understand the definitions. Control panel is the access to your server that you just bought space on. This gives you access so that you can look at your website, that you can look at your email addresses, that you can look at your traffic, other software pieces that we are going to be releasing uh, in the coming months, we're going to be putting them on our servers that people that host with us. So other software components that will be coming out. If you've got an independently hosted website with us, you'll have access to those as well. Okay. But this email that comes to you, you this is where you get access to your control panel. Okay. And so I get that. So now I've got access to this control panel right here. But right here is your access to your control panel. Okay. The next step, step one, buy your domain name, your hosting, and your security certificate. Step two, look for that email that gives you access to this control panel. Step three, launch your website right here. Now, as you can see, we've got other stuff that's coming, but right now, all you have to do is launch your WordPress website right here. That's step three. Okay, so it's going to come over here and you if this is a brand new uh, control panel and a domain name and everything that I'm having, I, I can scan for a WordPress installation, but there's nothing there because this is brand new. So I don't have to do that. But if you want to just to be safe, you can you can scan and see if there's already a WordPress, uh, but there's not. So then it says you can uh, do that using install. If you wish to install a new WordPress on your account, you can do so by clicking install. I can, of course, go up there and do it as well. So right here is where we name the site. So I'm going to call it Mark Shimmons. Okay. The domain name is going to be Mark Shimmons. The subdomain name is www. Okay. I'm going to use HTTPS. Uh, let, uh, yep. One second. I'm going to enable all of that. So give it just a second. You can see here it's spinning. So it'll take just a minute. So now that I've done all of that, I can go back right here to home. Okay. I can go back to WordPress here. All right. Mark Shimmons English domain, markshimmons.com subdomain that. All right. Okay. It's got there. That's where I was at. All right. So we got that. So the username here again, Mark, you'll want to change this after the fact, uh, but I'm just going to put uh, Mark Shimmons and I'm going to put one, well, I'm not going to tell you what I'll, I'll email this to you since it's not showing up here. So hopefully that will uh, accept licensing and agreement install. Oh, let me type that one more time. 
Hope, it, hope I didn't mistype. And it's all the same. Okay, here we go. Treasure Director contains the file that couldn't be over Yep, we're going to continue because there's nothing there that we're worried about overriding. But it does give you that alert that, hey, do you want to continue because you're going to overwrite anything there? Well, this is the first time a website has been installed on here, so we're not worried about that. But, uh, okay, boom, boom, shake the room right there. We are. So we've got it. Uh, we're in it to win it right there. So there's his uh, WordPress installation. Now, I won't get this email because it's going to him. But he's going to get an email, and you would too, uh, that says, you know, here is your dashboard. And so there's some language here. Most of the time, all of this is is just vernacular. But your control panel goes to your server. That's this right here. Then you're sending an email to, hey, here's your WordPress dashboard. So if I want to make changes to my WordPress website, the pages, the blog, uh, any add installs of, of various plugins, all of that happens over in my WordPress website has nothing to do with my dash or, or my control panel here. Okay. So that's always been a point of confusion before I leave this area though, I want to show a couple other things that you would find value in on your control panel. And that is this right here with our hosting, you have unlimited email. Okay, which means this is one of the advantages of having an independent site, which means I can go in here and I can create. So if Mark here has an assistant, maybe her name is Lori, I can go in here and I can create an account by clicking on that right there and create new account. And what's the name going to be Lori? And then the password, I just set up the password. And I do it one more time. All right. And here's the other thing. If I want, and Lori has already got an email address that she wants to use rather than this, I just want it branded as that. All I have to do is enable forwarding right here. And I type in Lori's email address right here, you know, at lauriebrown.com or, or whatever it would be. Uh, or I'm just going to use mine though. So I don't have to expose other people's information on this training, but what's going to happen. See, see that, see that. So now that I've got everything set up, I just hit add. Now here's where you can set up your spam filters, conservative to aggressive. You know, here's the deal guys. The more aggressive you get, the less emails you get, which could be a good thing, but then you're going to have people saying, Hey, I sent you that email with this. And you're like, I never got it. You know? So a lot of times people get real aggressive with their spam filters and then they start losing emails. So I'm always wanting to say, you know, conserve a few or false positives. So right there, cause I can always, you know, flag them after the fact. So now what happens just to show you something here, uh, let's, uh, Am I showing my screen or oh yeah, I'm showing my desktop. So let me just show you how this works now. So now I can go over here and, uh, create an email and I can send this to Lori at Mark Shimmons.com. So that's this, Hey, good looking, you know, whatever. What you got, got cooking. cooking? Yeah. <laughs> I knew you'd pick up on that. So boom, boom, shake the room. Look what happens. That's how you would do that. Uh, and you could set up unlimited. So maybe if you're a member on here today and you got affiliates, this is a great way of managing your affiliates. You give them their own email address. It's branded as you. Uh, and it just gives them a little more, you know, uh, attachment to your business and everything like that. But that's all done in control panels right there. Now, once we have that, website launched and we have the username and password ready here's what we do so uh i'm gonna go back over to home here i'm gonna go back to wordpress here i don't even have to do this but uh right here is the website okay so here's the thing about wordpress unless he changes it uh and then we can go right here you see that it's uh just a generic site the login on most all WordPress sites are always WP-admin unless the person changes it. And because I set this up, I know what it is. 
I'm going to watch it not work. Okay, and I'm not going to save that. But right now, this is where all the website edits and everything happen. If I want to change the way my website looks, I want to change pages, post, everything. The only time I use my control panel is the launch, which is what we're in. That's where I launch my website, and that's where I create email addresses if I want. Other than that, you're not going to be over there that much. So just keep that on file uh, as you need it. But the, And then if you got questions, if, if you run into a snafu about your website or anything like that, we have a 24-7 uh, ticket support over here right there, 24-7. If there's any problems with your WordPress website, your hosting, your emails bouncing back, you're having problems that has anything to do with what's being hosted on the server, Right there is where you, so, you uh, I'm over okay. here in the dashboard now. Okay. The next thing I'm going to tell you to do is go into your, um, appearance and go to themes and get a theme called attitude. If you can spell, well, it's not in here and that's why I said I hit add new. You got to hit add new. Sorry. Attitude. And the reason I say that is because don't get caught up by how this thing looks because with having Elementor, you have a blank canvas to be able to do whatever you want. But this one has some of the very easy to find simple functions to grab to create menus and different things with. And if you're a member, especially all of my training over the last decade has been done using WordPress and using this theme. So it's, you're going to have a easier time following along with existing training. So use attitude. And then if you want to have it look like something else, I'm going to show you one of the things that you can do. So the first thing is I get the, uh, the theme. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to plugins. Okay. And I'm going to click on, uh, and I'm going to let you, uh, Mark update this because it's going to ask you some personal information, but I would definitely, uh, update this cause this is going to help you from getting spam in your comment, uh, box. Like, I, you know, on blogs, like I'll take you to mine real quick and, um, it's just going to block out all this backlinking spam that uh, people do all the time. What am I doing? Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Sorry. Don't know my own website, so, but I'll show you what I'm talking about. And people ask all the time, say, well, you see this? They're wanting it to look like it. Well, this is attitude as well. You can make it look like anything. But when you do a blog post, like here's a blog post that I did. If you'll notice, there's, you can set it to where people can comment at the bottom if they want. And if you don't have this plugin turned on and activated and update dated, what will happen is you will have these spam bots go out there and you'll be getting Viagra commercials and everything else, you know, just polluting your blog, you know, and what will happen is that will slow your blog uh, speed down. And then all of a sudden you're saying, man, I'm having to update my server speed and space over here, you know, when you really don't have to, is just keep your blog clean. And that, that plugin right there will help you do that. Okay. So then the next plugin I'm going to tell you to get is classic editor. Now, if you like the Gutenberg uh, user interface that WordPress switched to two years ago, and you want to continue to use that, then by all means, don't download this. But if you've been around the block a time or two like yours truly and you're used to the user interface that WordPress has always had, then I install this because I want to, I don't want to have to hunt and peck for a, how to post something. So I install the classic editor. All of the training that you've seen me over the last 10 years is done with the classic editor turned on, okay? In other words, and let me just show you the difference. So when I go to a page, and I want to create a page, this is what it looks like when I want to create a page in WordPress with the classic editor plugin turned on. If I don't have that, here's what it would look like. So I'm going to deactivate this for a second. I'm going to refresh 
and I'm gonna go back over to pages and I'm gonna hit add new and now look what happens. I got all of this nonsense and I hate it. I hate it with a passion. It takes me hours to find the simplest button to do anything. Okay. So if you, and here's the other thing, what WordPress is trying to do is compete with Elementor. They're trying their best to come up with this drop and drag system to make it easier for people to edit. But if you're already in the mindset of using Elementor for a lot of page creation, this is just duplicating the same thing. The other thing is for members, this is not got anything to do with people watching this video later that are not members, but you know, as a member in step four, where I teach you how to create a funnel and I create, teach you how to create an ad copy that's clickable. You can't do that as easy in this function as you can the classic function. Okay. So if you're using the Gutenberg uh, user interface, it's, it's very difficult to create that clickable ad copy. Okay. So just a, a word to the wise for members that are watching this. So go back over and I'm going to activate the classic editor. The other thing that I'm going to, uh, download now you can do this now, or you can have us do it. It doesn't matter, but we, if you host with us, we give you the pro version of Elementor and we give you the pro version of WP forms. And for one year, those two plugins by themselves is like 400 bucks. Okay. It's like one's 299, uh, and the other one is 99. So it's, it's, it's well worth the value. So I'm going to go ahead and add this just because it's me, but, uh, you would want us to do this portion for you. Okay. And the other reason why you want the pro version of the Elementor with the pro version, you have thousands of templates. Uh, so if you want to create a web page that looks like anything you want, um, you can with uh, the pro version of Elementor. It has got a whole host of templates. And so I can make a website look like anything I want with that pro version. And it's just a matter of click here, uh, upload that template, and then just put my name in instead of the template's name and boom, I'm off to the races. So that's another reason why you'd want the pro version is ready to rock and roll. The next plugin you'll want to get and you get it from us is of course what's called WP forms. If you are a church and you're watching this later, this is something I highly recommend you getting because it will make your donation page so simple, uh, so easy to use. You can literally, it's got a template already built for giving, online giving, and all you have to do is tie your Stripe, your PayPal, or whatever account uh, system, whatever merchant services account you're using. Uh, it will... Uh, do that for you and then I'm all right so uh some other plugins i'm not going to take time to to do but for members on here another plugin you'll want to do and since uh, mark here is a member i do want to do this while i'm on here for him is you'll want to go to your plugins here add new and one thing you want to do is get lead connector so if you're a tw3 member and you have the tw3 app you'll definitely want to get that as well because that will connect your app to your wordpress site here which will make it uh basically so easy to pull over funnels and things that you want to do here now i'm just going to give out some quick uh recommendations i'm not going to spend time uh on this video because uh for a limited time we've got some other things you might want to look at is what's called stats plugin stats that's a great plugin to be able to see how many people's going to your website, what web page they're looking at. Another plugin is what's called quick redirects for you elite members that do a lot of referral marketing. This is where you can brand. Like for instance, I'll tell people go to terrywilson3.com slash free book, terrywilson3.com slash free book. The way I'm doing that, and I'll show you what that plugin looks like on mine, the back office here on mine is I'm taking this long drawn out URL address that I've got from, I think it's audibles that does that for me. Okay. Right. Here's quick redirects. Yep. And see all this. Like if I tell people go to Terry Wilson, three.com slash free book, it's sending them over to this long URL address. Okay. But it's a way that I, as a podcaster, or if I'm creating a graphic, and I just want, I want to brand me. I, I'm promoting Terry Wilson. I'm not promoting audibles. I'm not promoting 
you know, freecreditcheck.com. I'm not promo- I'm promoting Terry Wilson. So when I get these long drawn out URL addresses, I'm sitting here and I'm just using what's called quick redirects, which is where I go up and I type in, Hey, I want, to, uh, if I, let's say, just, just do one. I'll show you one. It's real cool. We'll do this. Let's say my URL address is going to be terrywilson3.com and I want it to say Lori. Okay. Well, where is that going to go? Maybe I want to have that go to lauriebrown7.com. And it needs to open up in a new window. Okay. So now I dare anybody go to terrywilson3.com slash Lori and see where it takes you. It'll take you, it should take you right to her website. Okay. So that's how, that's how easy it is to set up a quick redirect. So when I'm out marketing things, I might have this URL address to this referral marketing partner, or maybe I'm promoting one of my affiliates. You know, maybe I'm promoting, you know, whoever, you know, you're looking for a church in San Antonio, go to terrywilson3.com slash San Antonio church. And it'll take them right to a church that I'm recommending over there. I mean, it could be, it could be done for anything, but that's a way that I can always keep it as my domain name. I really like that when I use it a lot. The other, uh, a plugin I would tell you that's really powerful. It will drive tons of traffic to your site. It's called One Signal Push. One Signal Push. I love that one because if how many have has opened up your uh, laptop and you got an alert from Google that says, "Hey, Terry just posted a new blog," or "Terry just posted this," and you're getting something in your browser when I post a new podcast or a new blog or something, if you're getting that, that's because at some point you came to my website and it gave you an alert that says, Hey, we would like to send you push notifications when we post something. Will you allow us? If you say yes, then you're going to get push notifications on your Google Chrome and other browsers that uh, this works with. And so it's just a way of, in, instead of me having to text or email hundreds or even thousands of people, it automatically pushes out to their browser when I'm publishing new content. So that's a great one there. Okay. So those are plugins. So just, I want to reiterate step one, purchase your domain name. Step two, look for an email to get into your control panel. Step three, launch that WordPress website. Like I just showed you step four, go to your WordPress dashboard, which is where we're at right now. Step five, pick attitude theme is the one I recommend. You can pick any theme you want, but that's the one I recommend, especially since you're hosting with us because you're going to have Elementor, and that means you can have any template you want to make your site look like whatever you want, and and uh, uh, and then your control of your uh, website will be a whole lot easier with that theme. And then start loading plugins, and the biggest plugin that you need to jump on real quick is, the, of course, this anti-spam thing that's going to help you keep spam off of your blog and then that classic editor start there and then if you're a member get lead connector and then if you're not a member or or a member either one send in a ticket to us at terrywilson3.com and tell us you want the pro version of elementor and wp forms and we'll get that as well so once you've got it to that point now you have this blank canvas you've got a website that's ready to rock and roll okay and so in the next uh, 12 minutes, I'm going to set up a website for Mark Shimmons. So let's just do it to it. The first thing I want to do is I want to create a header. Okay. So I use a, comp- a company called Canva.com. If you followed me at all, you know that I'm a huge proponent of Canva. And what you'll want is a 1038 by 250 pixel uh, header. And it will come out and look just like that. The next thing you'll want to do is to come up with some sort of background. Okay. And so they already have all of these background templates over here that you can use. All right. And then of course you can do stuff like that right there, which makes it really easy to, uh, do that. So, and then plus it gives you these lines so you can square it up. Now, the only thing is you'll definitely want to change the color. Uh, so I always like, uh, like a lighter, uh, gray instead of white to give it some color here. So Mark Shimmons, and then some things you can dress it up with is using these things called elements. Okay. 
and then maybe you just type in a word like marketing over here and it would give you some elements that would look like marketing elements okay so maybe uh, I want to use this right here okay so there is the uh, hosting download uh, so right here I'm going to go under customize all right and I'm going to change his header image to this right here there we go and I'm just showing you the way I do it other people have different eyes and, and like things differently so you know you do you design options custom header thank you all right and I'm just going to disable this portion right here so you see that goes away up there so that's why I did that a site layout options I'm going to make it the wide layout it's just here again it's just my uh, taste I don't want these sidebars and stuff that's just my thing so I'm going to go no sidebar full width okay so now it's got that so I'm going to click publish right here just so we can see what we got so far and I click this little X up here so this is what my website looks like so far and what's happening is it's set to where the latest uh, post blog post is going to be the home page which is what I sort of like doing as well so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into my dashboard and I know this sounds scary but don't worry about it I select all that and I delete it I just get all that trash out of there because these are all um, you know like placeholders and stuff like that and then I go over to post and the hello world I just go there and I move that to trash check this now. out Marcy so um, I'm gonna go to my website real quick and I to help mark in setting his site up I'm going to do something to show you how if you got a WordPress site what you can do so this is my WordPress site right here right so check this out I'm gonna go to tools I'm gonna go to export and I'm going to export what everything right there download it'll take just a second now if I wanted if this was my website right now that I putting a new website together all I would have to do is go over here to tools import and if it was done with blogger live journal it was an RSS feed tumblr but this is another WordPress site so I go right there and I would just hit install now I'm not going to uh, I'm not going to install my entire website on his site but I do have some pre-made uh, I've already done this I've got in my tech bundle uh, folder right here I've already got some blog posts that I upload to uh, folks that, who buy tech bundles from us so and then I make them the author come on, come okay. on. okay I go visit his site right now look there is all the different podcast or excuse me uh, post so if uh, boom right there what to do when your prospect starts ghosting you so just business lessons right there right how to 10x your sales right and it's even got the embedded uh, video right there so that's how you would you would uh, now all I did was post but you can do post pages you can do everything right there and I showed you a minute ago how I downloaded everything and I, I didn't want to install everything there so post and pages real quick posts are a dynamic content that creates your blog that is your blog pages is something static so when I have a page that I want it to stay where I put it and the content never changes I'm gonna create a page so pages are gonna be things like about me testimonies ad copy pages opt-in forms those things blogs are like here's what's happening at TW3 this week here's this latest podcast Here's what I think about X, Y, or Z. These are all blogs. 
if you are a member, you also have this third component, which is called a TW3 app. And so we tell you is anytime you're trying to capture a lead so that you can auto respond on them via text, email, voicemail, drop, or anything else, create that content, whether it be an opt-in form, whether it be a sales page, create that content in the app and then use your lead connector right here to connect your app with your website. Because at the end of the day, everybody calls WordPress a blog. It's not a blog. It's a content management system. It's a CMS that has a blog component to it and has other things. So if I go over to our app and Mark has got an app with us. And so for you folks that are watching this video later, you might want to talk to one of our TW3 reps to talk about getting one of our apps and what that will do for you. But what it will do is it will allow you to have uh, the ability to capture leads, auto respond to leads, keep up with them through a CRM system that's very sophisticated and all kinds of other things that you can do that uh, we can't go into right now because it'd be too much. But when you go into your app members and you go to your uh, settings, you go down here click on settings. The first page that comes up is this right here. Right there is your API key. All you have to do is hit, hit that clipboard so you copy it, okay? And then you go over here to your API key here. You hit save. If it works, it gives you the green check. Now, I might have to recycle the uh, uh, app to get the uh, plug-in to work, or excuse me, the chat widget, but let's see. I'm going to hit pull and save and see what happens. Okay, you see right there where it says, please configure chat widget? If that happens, that means I come back over to the chat widget and I go to sites, chat widget, save, pull and save. Boom, boom, shake the room. Now, what that means is on Mark's website, he's got this and now he's got this chat widget. So anytime someone goes here and they put in their name, or six four one, uh, what is it? Let's see, that's my old number eight six four five zero seven. Sorry, I don't even know my old number anymore. Nine six nine six. Hey, Mark, sell me something. Boom. So I send that in because I saw some incredible piece on his website. I want to know more information about it. Well, look what happens over in Mark's uh, app. Look at that. This guy named Terribly Wilson shows up. He says, hey, Mark, sell me something. He says, I don't sell to your kind. All right. And then it will show up not on anything but my mobile phone. So, boom, right there. I don't sell to your kind. So, anyway. That's how you, you capture leads, you have opt-in forms, you have anything you want, it's right there, okay? So now he's got his chat widget set up, he's got his blog set up as the home page. The final piece to this is setting up your menus in pages. And this is important. Um, you have to create content, don't you, Lori? You have to create content before you organize content. You can't organize something that you don't have existing, right? So a lot of times people's like, well, I wanted to get this menu and I want to, they start with the menu and you got to start with the content, right? So what you do is you go back into your back office and you start creating your pages. Now, the beautiful thing about having your, your, uh, lead connector here and having the, these assets here is if you've got, let's see if he's got his funnel set up. Look at that. He's already got his funnel set up. So check this out. I just go over here and I set up his TW3 membership package. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to put three packages. I'm going to call that page membership. Membership. Then I'm going to go back over here. This is how I populate my website. So for you guys, it's already got 
Like I know some of you guys had tech bundles made and then you went and got a, a second site. Well, here's all, this is all you got to do to pull your, your stuff over. Cause it's over there. So, uh, income hacks, that's what I call demo because it just gives you a demo of the web, uh, the different plugins and how they work and how you make money with them. So right there is how you do that. Okay. Uh, I'm going back to TW3 membership package. That's the folder that it's in. And then I'm going to go down here, maybe uh, testimonies. I'm going to call review. Reviews. So there's all kinds of pages back here we can put on his site for him. I'm just going to put that. So there's all of the pages that are going to be coming from my app. And so then the pages that I want on the actual WordPress site, I just go here and start clicking add new. So what's the first thing I want to put? I'm going to put insurance. All right. And so what do I want to add there? I want to add that clickable ad copy, right? I'll put it right there. And here's something that people always sort of mess up on. They leave the size small, make sure it's big. It's full size, so it shows up right. And then all I have to do is put in his website, HTTPS colon slash slash Mark Shimmons. And what did I call the apply page? The application page. I'm linking this image to that application page right there. And I'm going to set up. You go to customize. You go to menus and you create a menu. There's no menu created. And I always call my menus based on where they're located. If this menu is at the top of my web page, I'm going to call this my top menu. And I'm going to actually make it my primary menu. So I click that. Boom. Now, if you'll notice, everything disappeared because there's nothing assigned to my top menu. So now all I have to do is add. And so I'm going to add every one of those pages I've created thus far. Okay. But here's what am I else I'm going to do. I'm going to go under custom links right here. And... I don't want an actual page. I just want a tab. So I'm going to use the hashtag as the URL address, and I'm going to call this jobs. And I'm just going to add it to the menu. Now, if I click on that, it goes nowhere. That's very important. That's so that I can sit here and drop and drag all of these actual pages under that menu item to keep it organized. That's why I do it that way. Okay. Then I'm going to type in Mark Shimmons, which would be, and look at that. All of those links are going to be broken and going to be wrong. I got to go back and do every one of them because I didn't put .com slash apply. So every one of those links are going to be wrong. But now I'm going to put in those slugs. If you remember, every time I pulled something over from the app, I had to give it a name. And so I said, I'm going to call this one demo because that's actually what it does. So I'm just going to put the extension, that slug on the end, and it will take it to that particular. And I'm going to call the tab. This is what the link tab is going to be. And I just add it. So now you've got a demo. But what it's going to do is actually take them to the page that's been produced in the app. Maybe the other one is membership. Remember, I made one called membership. Terry, should it be markshimmons 3com Mm-mm. No. Oh, it might. Absolutely. I didn't see that there was a three on the end. <laughs> yeah. Who caught that? Somebody caught that. I wasn't paying attention. Yeah. I got to go back. I think, and... I think Mark did. Mark, I didn't know you put a three in there. Hey, I, I learned that from a friend of mine. <laughs> well, I'm the third. I don't know what your excuse is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so I have screwed up some links left and right here. So that's okay. So I will, I will just copy that and, uh, let's see here, copy. All right. So now the membership one will work, but that one, so this link right here is going to be broken. So what I've got to do is go in and put a three right here and I'm just going to save those. All right. Any, Thanks, Terry. Uh, appreciate you, it. You got it. You got it. Not, I'm not saying that person did, by the way. I just think. Just. We'll find out when I talk to <laughs> <laughs> We will. Time will tell. Well, guys, I hope today has been informative. 
uh, illustrative to you. I hope it's inspired you to to uh, get things going in your business. Uh, I'm going to be chopping this video up into segments and setting it out. Uh, this I was hoping to put this in a, a fashion that would be informative to members and also to people who may be wanting to buy purchase or purchase a hosting from us at a later date as well. Cause I've got a lot of clients that are not necessarily members, but are starting to buy our enterprise system and web hosting and things of that nature. So for you elite members, this will be a great video for you to be able to share with them so that you can sell some of those app components to tie into their WordPress website and stuff. <laughs>